Hey everybody, Leo CMC here. You can just call me Leo. Welcome to my first video. Um, I just migrated from a previous account. This will currently be my fourth and really only my second I've taken seriously. Uh, for my first video, I decided to put out a League of Legends. Uh, just pretty much a bunch of clips from this video, from this video, from this match. And uh, I'm not. My computer's not really built to handle this too well. It doesn't have a good graphics card quite yet, unfortunately. So at a couple clips towards the end, the frames will start dropping and it gets a bit laggy. But you can hopefully still tell what the action is. So I decided also to play Broloff, Olaf with the Broloff skin. It's uh, he's supposed to be like a really awesome Viking almost. And uh, this skin kind of makes him like a college douchebag almost. It's pretty awesome. I especially love the things so just randomly say. And I notice myself stopping a lot of the clips in this video right as soon as he says something stupid or just something random. So try and watch out for that if I'm not too loud. Um, let's see, today is November 1st. I usually try to post on the same day that I record. And I've been working on lately just more or less posting in general every single day. I got a good like week worth of videos uploaded on my previous channel before I decided to, you know, update to this one. As you can see as you can see here, I more or less just got two double kills in the 1v2 right in a row. I try to keep the clips cut so it's straight up action, but every so often I think two or three of them in this one have just a little bit where it's not too much action, just kind of transitioning here and there. And uh, I do like to keep in the final push in its entirety, so I did do that towards the end. Besides this, I play, let's see, Minecraft, MapleStory, at least those are, these are the three things I've ever posted on my old channel. Uh, on this new one, I hope to post a lot more, but until I can get the proper equipment I need to actually do a lot more, I'm kind of stuck with what I've got. I'm thinking Warframe maybe, but I don't really play that enough to know what's going on. Alright, he's not the only one. Watch this kill. Um, trying to think. There's obviously... Oh yeah. There's obviously a ton more games out there to play, and I honestly love suggestions as to what to play, because there's so much, and I always like expanding my borders. And then as soon as I can get a graphics card, I'm thinking also a capture card. I want to record some Xbox games, because I've always wanted to try out a Let's Play. It's probably going to be really difficult, but it's still something. Oh jeez. There's, there's a couple clips in here that I don't even bother getting the kill. Or just not even bother. Just, I just don't get them, but I honestly love watching the teamwork. And the wasted ultimates. Oh jeez. I ended up playing a, another game with these guys. The other four in this match. And it was really fun. We were almost... I personally thought we were going to lose. I was playing Bully Bear Top. We pretty much all kept our configuration. Akawi was the only one that actually kept her the champion though. Everyone else had swapped to a different one. You can see the frames just dropping like crazy in this one. But besides that, everyone else more or less kept their same lane configuration. I believe Jin Zhao was Twitch and Tristana was Kha'Zix and they more or less just swapped roles. Um, I... We do not Baron in this match. I just have my mic. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a long one for me. But uh, my build is Olaf. I mainly try to keep towards his uh I try to keep attack speed, life steal, and after that it's kinda up in the air. I'll usually buy a Blade of the Ruin King as you can see. And then, literally, after the Blade of the Ruin King, I have no idea what I buy. It's just random. Normally, it's something that has to do else with attack speed, like, trying to think of something. Uh, not good at this. Probably, like, a Phantom Dancer normally. I'll buy something with, like, good crit on him. And then, usually some defensive items, because I believe he's known as a tanky bruiser, which is kind of true in its own ways, but I should probably... I shouldn't. No, I'm thinking I will, anyways. Uh, Olaf. I already described what he is, but let's describe his skills. What you just saw there was his Q, Undertow Axe. You more or less just throw your axe. It slows anything that gets hit by it, and it does a decent amount of damage. It's really awesome for just getting people that are far. I just ended up activating in the video my W, which is Vicious Strikes, I do believe. It, they ended up changing Olaf not too long ago, just a little bit of him. 
and his vicious strikes changed a bit. His W used to give spell vamp and life steal, but now it just gives life steal and attack speed, and maybe attack damage, Dude, something like that. So but it's really good to get some quick attacks in on anything and steal back some health if you need it. Um, before I go into his E, I should go into his passive because that's kind of what my build's focused off of, more or less this W passive E. Somewhat as R, that's just kind of there because you're unstoppable with your R. Um, his passive, I believe, is called Berserker's Rage. I haven't really studied up on him too lately. Too lately. That much lately, I just kind of play him and kind of know my skills, not so much the names. But for every single percent of health you are missing, the more attack speed he has. And uh, to play into that, his E is called Reckless Swing, and it does true damage at the cost of health rather than mana. So, you more or less just break through any armor, any magic resist, and smash through their health. But at the same time, because of that, you're playing with your passive. You lower your health, you get faster. You can throw a Q to slow them down, and then you can activate W for more attack speed that you're... You can maintain your attack speed while regaining your health. It's a really good thing to do. Now, his ultimate, his R, is Ragnarok. What it does is, I believe it has a passive that raises, like they just added the passive when they redid a little bit of him. The passive adds armor and magic resistance. I'm not sure how much, just a little bit. Well, when you activate it, um, I think I may have messed up the clips there. But uh, when you activate it, you lose that passive, but you gain the ability to not be disabled, as you can see demonstrated there. It's really awesome, and it's really good for escapes and for charging straight in. Like, we're facing a Heimerdinger who also just got a full-on rework a, two days ago, I believe, it was re-implemented. Not re-implemented, just implemented. And, uh, his, I believe it's his, his grenade, I think it's his W, I'm not too sure, I've only ever played Heimerdinger once, it was a long time ago. But he has a grenade that used to, uh, blind you, I believe it still blinds you, but it stuns you now if it hits you, like, dead on, rather than just area of effect. And if it's something like that, you can just charge through it. Uh, Lulu, who I uh, was originally facing on top and kind of eating up, her one of her attacks will slow you. Just It's something she activates. It kind of just builds on her basic attack. It'll slow you. You just go right through it. Any stuns, any knock-ups, anything, it more or less hits you, does its damage, but then you just walk through it because why not? It's really awesome. Um, if you watch here, this was like a really bad chase on Shen and Jin's part. I was kind of laughing the entire time. And I didn't want to take it from him, but I was kind of getting tired of it, and we really needed to get to where we were going. So watch what happens. Q. E. And it's mine. Oh, I felt so bad for that, but at the same time, it was really funny. <laughs> Stop the shenanigans. Yeah. Take it like a man. Ah, oh, jeez, I forgot the funny things we said in this match. It was so awesome. I believe this is one of the longer clips, so there's not going to be so much crummy cutting. It's just going out of nowhere. Um, let's see here. If you haven't noticed by now, our team configuration, you can see on the left side, besides myself, we have Xin Zhao in jungle. He did a really good job. He was really good at ganking the other lanes. So I kind of didn't need it. Mid, we had Akali, who got even more fed than I did, which was absolutely insane. We have Shen Bot for support. He was originally going to go top, but didn't notice that I had called it. And last second, he was like, dude, I'm fine with it. He went support tank on bottom, which was really awesome. Because on the league, people aren't always the most understanding of the nicest, but there's always exceptions to that. We have our AD carry, Tristana, who was also on bot, getting supported by Shen. She did a great job, but there was a moment, which I purposely did not put in, where I ended up dying, and uh, I believe it was Zerath killed me, who's the one right there in front of me, Aurora Athena. Yeah, um, just in case you couldn't see him. Not the one I'm killing now, they're killing Right, not, ah, jeez, I don't know how to say it, it's like the bluish one, the one that just got a kill. That one ended up killing me, like he stunned me, I didn't have my ultimate up, and I had really low health after going through like two people, three people maybe. And he went and hid in a bush to recall, and Tristana was sitting there waiting in the bush next to him for her rocket jump to uh, kind of recharge, but she really could have had the kill, he was so low, but... Oh my goodness, watch these plays here. Zin just jumped in for a 1-1, one, 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 and then Akali got the next one to make it 2 for 1. Now, I ended up cutting out a bit of that chase there. I kind of chased down Lulu, it didn't go anywhere. But watch what happens here. I was so happy I ended up making it at the time. Well, the Q is going to get her, she's going to attack me instead. Shen's jumping in with his ultimate. 
I'm sitting here activating items like crazy. I forgot my two was where I had Blade of the Ruined King, but we eat her alive. It was awesome. Now Jax, he kind of just runs. If you heard that one there, I purposely shut up because I remembered that one. I ended up cutting it as soon as he said what he said. Really funny. Well, well, at least I find it funny. My screen ended up dying up for a second there. Stupid, uh... Oh, dude, double kill. I thought... Oh, thought. Forgot about that one. I almost could have had the triple, but... Just didn't make it in time to that one. And then I kind of let Heimer go for a little bit. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. Whatcha? Oh man, if only that was the triple. But here, it was an ace instead. It's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Now, uh, if you listen to the game audio, if hopefully I was silent enough, you could hear I kind of did a really bad cut there. This is the final push, so I kept it entirely in. But I ended up, as soon as I killed uh, Heimerdinger and I hit the turret the first time, I stopped that clip and added a new one. But I ended up adding it, the new one, starting exactly where I left off, but the audio is just a bit messed up when you hear it. I just kind of didn't want to... It's not that I didn't want to, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking myself, man. It's not that I didn't want to, like, go back and just undo what I did. It's just... It was just easier when I checked that it was, like, pretty much spot on. You couldn't see the difference, video-wise. I'm not talking about audio here. So I was kind of like, that's pretty awesome. I don't know how I did it, but let's leave it. So there you have it, and we're pretty much ending it here. What ends up happening is pretty much everyone besides me dies because I'll sit there and I'll take the final hit. Like I'll kind of hit someone like twice, run away, let the, let my teammates tank it like a jerk, and then I'll go and finish him off if I can. I felt really bad, but at the same time I had no idea I was doing it first. This is how I am. I get really passive until I notice I have a chance. Well, sometimes, anyways, that's a pretty lie. That's a pretty lie. Pretty big lie. Sometimes I'll just jump full in, even though there's no chance. Like, eh, whatever. Yeah, right there. I felt so bad. I probably could have had the Pento if I helped. Oh, jeez. I just realized I'm not paying attention to my phone. It's on vibrate. I'm very sorry if you could hear any of that. It's really bad. Normally I silence it, but... See, these are just things to learn from. My first video, everybody, is wonderful, and I'm talking a lot more than I had expected. And, like, when we were hitting, like, two minutes, I was thinking, like, I'm not going to talk for the entirety of this video. And here I am talking for the entirety of this video. Watch, one kill, two kill. I could add the third, but I was too far. Good job, Jin. All right, let's finish this. We got Zero F here. Let's give it a play-by-play -play at this point. We actually don't kill him. Oh no, we kill him, but Heimerdinger comes back. Right now, you see his dead body had disappeared, if you were paying attention. Right there. He comes back, we're so close to killing him, but minions OP, and they finish off the Nexus right before we can. So, right here. Thank you all very much for watching, and welcome to my first video. I hope to see you back soon. I'm probably going to be a bit better, hopefully. Thank you very much.